In this video, I'm going to go through with you uh, practice now number 9, page 122 of the text. Practice now number 9. Right, variable x and y are connected by the equation y equals to 5 minus 3x minus 2x squared. Right, so the table of values uh, have already been given to you. Right, from x equals to negative 3 until 2. Now, so on the sheet of the graph paper, you have to use a scale of 2 cm to 1 unit to represent 1 unit on the x axis. And on the y axis, right, 1 cm to represent 1 unit. And then we draw the graph. Okay, um, for this uh, video, right, actually I am uh, using a simulated version, that means a digital version. Um, I want to concentrate more on explaining to you how to, um, when you finish plotting the points, right, how you're going to uh, draw the curve or trace out the curve when the points are not symmetrical. Right, using the points in the table for the function, right, y equals to 5 minus 3x minus 2x squared. Right, so you plotted out the points. So that's what you can see from uh, x equals to negative 3 um, all the way until to x equals to 2. Okay, you notice that the points, right, you don't seem to see any kind of uh, symmetry, right? So that, how are you going to plot the, the graph? I want you to remember, right, that all graphs, right, of quadratic, uh, quadratic functions have lines of symmetry. Okay, so we need to try to find it. So how do we do that? Vertical line of symmetry actually passes through between the x-intercepts. In fact, right, if you draw any horizontal line through the graph or through the curve, you will see that, right, the line of symmetry is actually right in the middle between the two points of intersection. So we're going to try to look for it. Now, we do we know the x-intercept? So uh, can we find it? Yes, right in this graph, right, we already got one, which is at uh, one, zero. Okay, where is the other one? Okay, let's take a look at the first two points, right? Point negative three, uh, comma four, and uh, it's just below the x-axis, right, over there. And then the other point, right, negative two, three, is just above the x-axis. So actually, right, we should be able to find the, the x intercept, isn't it? If we can trace out. So this is what we're going to do. We trace out uh, approximately, right? Then we should be able to uh, mark the point where the this uh, small portion of the graph cuts the uh, so-called uh, x-axis, right? It turns out to be very close to negative 2.50. Okay. Then now we can try to look for the midpoint between the x uh, the two so-called x intercepts. Okay, you take the uh, the mean right between uh, so negative two point five plus one divided by two, so that's how you get the midpoint, and it's negative zero point seven five. You can also use a ruler right, and then uh, get the distance between the two points right, the two x intercept, and then divide by two. So you should approximately get that line of symmetry. Okay, now I taught you also one trick. Um, x, actually the x coordinate right of the line of symmetry is given by the formula minus b over 2a. So what's uh, a and what's b? Right in a quadratic function, y equals to a x squared plus b x plus c. Right in, in this format, actually a is the coefficient of x squared, b is actually the coefficient of x. So for our given function, right, actually if you look, um, a is a negative two. Right? And then B is actually negative 3. So X will be negative of negative 3 divided by 2 times negative 2. And that's a negative 3 quarter of negative 0 0.75. So this is how we can get the line of symmetry. Right, Draw a vertical line parallel to the Y axis through this midpoint that you have just found. Okay. Now, the equation of the line of symmetry, right? since the, all the X coordinates are uh, negative 0 0.75, Right, you'll be uh, the line of symmetry is called, um, or the or the equation of the line of symmetry is actually x equals to negative 0.75. Okay, now the turning point right also lies on the line of symmetry. Remember? Now, so but what is the uh, x coordinate? Well, it's negative uh, 0.75. Right. Okay, what about the y coordinate? Well, we can use right the function y equals to 5 minus 3x minus 2x squared. So if you sub in right uh, x as the negative 0 0.75, you should get y equals to 6.125. So you round off to 6.13. Now, uh, the scale of the 
the graph right does not allow you to actually draw so accurately but it should be about one tiny square right because uh, five tiny squares actually is one unit so one tiny square will be point two. so half a square is there so you can mark the point of the turning point there okay now to see the symmetry of the points right right now you, you've got a line of symmetry you've got a turning point but it's still quite hard to see where the symmetry is so what you can do right the extra step you can do is you try to reflect the points that you have marked right um, around about the a line of symmetry that you have drawn right and then you so-called put in those so-called extra points lightly right can you see the ones here pink in color right now you can see right the more or less the symmetry right of the curve but remember you start drawing from x equals to negative 3 so with the help of your adjustable curve okay in this case i'm just using a simulated is a digital file so i don't have the adjustable curve or the French curve right so I'm just going to pretend to draw right and I'm going to draw right through all the points until x equal to 2 right I stop here okay so in this way we can actually uh, draw a quadratic curve even though the initial points given to us don't appear to be symmetrical